Whole blocks of downtown Marion stand empty now, giving no clue to the grandeur once visible. But here and there you get a hint, a structure that looks out of place, a business or organization that looks like something someone else once called home. The stained glass um, is, is all original. There's Grant County historian Bill Munn enjoys those moments when the sights turn into stories. And there are many. This Swayze Love Mansion once housed Marion's most prominent businessman and politician. It was built by Aaron Swayze, who was one of Marion's first businessmen. He ran a, a, a general store in what is now downtown Marion and was quite successful and uh, I think his prosperity is reflected in the, in the house. In effect, it's almost a, a, a structural timeline of the development of the community. Mon and other long-timers see these homes and businesses almost disappearing, and they want to catch them before they too turn to empty spaces. Dave Homer is president of this ad hoc organization now called Save Our Seven. He looks at icons such as the Marion National Bank, and here's the stories he grew up with. I remember as a, as a child going in this building for eye appointments and my father worked in the insurance business and there were insurance offices there. So we're afraid that if this building falls into further disrepair, uh, that eventually it could be, it could be torn down. And, and that would be sad for our downtown and really leave a, an empty spot. Marion needs champions now to invest and put the past to good use. Randy and Sue Wagaman were just those kinds of people, starting Aunt Sue's tea room a decade ago. But last winter, water leaks and then a fire knocked out their dream, before they even had a chance to put away the Christmas decorations. Oh, it's a hollowness, just, you know, it used to be so beautiful, and to see it in this condition just breaks our hearts. So when you see places like this that are in jeopardy of being demolished, it saddens one if our history is our history. Insurance won't cover the loss, so they're looking for a buyer. Someone who sees the structure, designed by African-American architect Samuel Plato, as history crumbling away. And some buildings mean more because of who and how they connected. On one side of Washington Street, this is a beverage store. On the other, the tracks are what's left from a rail station that once brought all kinds of people to a booming town. This particular station would have been the one that the developers came on. There are a lot of ghost towns or towns that no longer exist in Indiana and throughout the Midwest that failed to get a railroad line. So many sites mere blocks apart speak of a Marion few remember. And even if they can't save them all, Munn and Homer send out this SOS to the next generation, hoping stories save structures and something more. Well, we lose uh, stories, we lose uh, the history, uh, the, um, I guess, the memories for people. Heritage is an important part of any community, and if we're going to grow and survive, we have to deal with our heritage. Seven to save on a list that could hold many more. Legacies that might stand proudly if tradition and opportunity cross on Marion streets.